Hello, and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the adaptive roughing feature. This feature is going to work great with our new PathPilot software, as well as the Tormach High Speed Spindle. Uh, I just want to clarify that this does not come with every version of SprueCam. You will have to pay for it. It's an additional module, and the cost is between $800 and $900. Let's get started here. The first thing we're going to do is create a new auxiliary auxiliary operation. You want to double click auxiliary operation and find insert double click it and insert string we want to do G64 which is constant velocity mode or I have also seen it as continuous mode. And then we want to put a p-value of 0 0.01. What the p-value does is that smooths the corners out and will make the tool paths a lot more friendlier. So you can hit enter and then hit OK. We then want to go to create new roughing waterline. You can double click it and go to tool. We are going to make, a, let's just say, a 3 8 end mill. Set the diameter 0.375 and hit add. All right, we've got that. We can go to feeds and speeds. Because we are using the new high speed spindle. We can jack that up quite a bit. So let's put 20,000. And we want to run that at 110 inches a minute. Lead in, lead out. We're going to do a spiral. Go to save height. Actually, let's click spiral. There we go. 150% works. An angle of 3 degrees. 15 is pretty extreme max radius of 0.2 and then we'll do 0.1875 we can then go to parameters I'm just gonna set the bottom level to negative 0.75 I'll do a quantity of 3 and then we can go to strategy there's only two things you need to do in strategy one is click adaptive and two set your step over. Uh, we're going to do 30% of the tool diameter. And then you can hit OK. And then you can hit Run. And now this will take a little bit, uh, a few seconds here. One of the nice features with adaptive roughing is because you're moving at such a high speed, you can see all the tool paths there. Since you're moving at such a high speed, if at any point in this your tool is moving along part of the a part that's already been machined, it'll actually raise the Z up a little bit, and that will help with tool wear. Uh, it'll just get it off of that surface because you are moving, hopefully, pretty fast. Uh, if you're not if you're not able to increase the feed rate and the RPM with this, uh, you probably shouldn't be doing it because there's a lot more tool path in involved. Uh, it's just moving a lot faster, so you're clearing out material a lot faster. And let's go to simulation and let's, let's watch this go. Uh, turn transparent off. Actually, let's just turn that off altogether. And let's see it go here. Let's crank it up a little bit and you can see how it's just constantly doing little circles. Going back and forth. So yeah, that is the adaptive roughing feature. Um, like I said, this is not included with the pro version of Sprue Cam. You do have to pay extra for it. Um, you know, you might want to call us up and see if this is an application that works for you. Uh, we'd be glad to tell you whether or not it is or not. 
and yeah, uh, adaptive roughing uh, with the Tormach High Speed Spindle. And this has been another Sprue Cam tutorial brought to you by Sprue Cam America.